Welcome to Nine News. Police have seized Troy Barswell's government car, towing it away this afternoon. They've confirmed they're looking at how the former treasurer got home after a wedding and whether he was involved in any other incidents. Troy Barswell's damaged ministerial car is towed away by police after sitting in his Subiaco driveway for two and a half weeks. Officers looked over the vehicle and checked whether the former treasurer was home. It came as police confirmed they're looking at whether the damage was done as Mr Buswell drove himself home from this wedding where his evening started. Mr Buswell had been enjoying himself at the Kings Park reception for most of the afternoon, mingling with sporting legends John Worsfold and Adam Gilchrist. He left some time around 1.30 in the morning and later was reported driving erratically. Have you been informed if police are investigating whether the vehicle was involved in accidents or collisions with other vehicles that night? I'm not prepared to con comment on an ongoing investigation of police. A day after the car accident on the 24th of February, Mr Buswell's Chief of Staff Rachel Turnsek met with the Premier to tell him he'd had a mental breakdown but said nothing about the car accident. Why did you not ask about any immediate events that may have precipitated the Treasurer's absence? It is not a reasonable thing when you're told a colleague and a friend has just broken down and you've got his Chief of Staff in tears in your office to start quizzing her. That is not what Australians do. The Premier reaffirmed he only found out about the damage to the government car on Sunday. It was the police commissioner who informed his office about the reports and Mr Buswell's Chief of Staff, Rachel Turnsek, who confirmed them. The police minister didn't know, I didn't know, the deputy premier didn't know, the leader of the National Party didn't know, did you know? Mr Buswell is still seeking medical care after spending more than a week in hospital in Sydney and Perth. Today, friends said they knew something was wrong weeks ago. I could see that, you know, he, he was, uh, uh, I think he was frustrated with things that were happening around him. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I could see a change in him. Josh Yerger, Nine News.